Hi there folks, welcome to another Tabletop Assault. My name's William. And I'm Ross. And today we're going to be playing another Skitari vs Chaos. I think Ross really wants to have another stab at me with these Chaos. Um, that's 1500 points apiece. Yep, yep. And the mission we're going to be playing is an Eternal War, the Relic, which can only be described as grab the football and run. What you need to do, grab the relic, it's worth three victory points at the end of the game, so you really want to hold on to it and uh, win. Usual stuff, such as uh, Slayer Warlords, Linebreaker, blah blah blah. Yeah, blah. Your usual. All, all helps to even it up, but uh, really, if you get that, that uh, relic, that's how you're going to win this game. So, with that, uh, shall we have a look at the forces? Yeah, let's crack on. We have here the 1500 points of Chaos Space Marines. Leading them is going to be Karn the Betrayer. And with him, he has got a net retinue of 9 Corn Berserkers, with the champion has a power weapon. They're going to be uh, riding along in a Land Raider. It's got Dozer Blades. And with them as well, we have 10 Cultists. They're going to be Foot Slogging. We have a Heldrake. He's just going to have the Auto Cannon weapons. We also have a Forge Fiends. He's going to be with his Hades Auto Cannons and an additional Ecto Plasma Cannon. We have three Obliterators with the Mark of Nurgle. And we have a Nurgle Demon Prince who has got Power Armor, he's got Wings, and he has the Burning Brand of Skelthrax, which is all pretty cool. And that's our total points for 1500 of Chaos Space Marines. Well, this is my Skitari guys. Changed it up a little bit since the last time I played them. No longer have my knight in here. So, to begin, we've got my five troop choices. So, I've got three squads of Vanguard. They are all rocking the Plasma Calibers. Uh, the Rangers as well, I've got two squads of them. They are, they've got the, the sniper rifles, the arquebuses. I've got two of them in the squad. One of the uh, ranger squads has got my warlord as well. He has got the involved save shield. I can't even remember what it's called. I will try and remember it. But Stasis field. Yeah, that's the one. Stasis field. Thank you very much, Ross. Uh, basically gets a two up if he goes to ground. I feel he'll be hiding a lot during this game. Keep him alive, to be honest. Uh, moving on, we have got a squad of Sidonian Dragoons, so got three of them there with the Taser Lances. And then moving on from them, we've got my heavy support choice, I've got a squad of Onagers, there are three of them in there. They've all got the, um, the Cognus Stubber upgrades as well, and they're all racking the, uh, the Neutron Lasers. Moving on from that, second one, I've got Onager just up the back, if you can see that, he will be rocking the twin Icarus Auto Cannon um, and Gatling Rocket Launcher Array, just because I know they've got that Hell Turkey coming my way. Uh, and last but not least, we have the Iron Strider Ballistari, just with the Auto Cannons there, just for a little bit extra DACA. And that is it, that's 1500 points of Skitari. After the roll off, I won, so I got to deploy first, which I, I chose to do, because uh, I really want to, to start blasting them straight away. We have got the Rangers just nestled down here. Just along from that, the squad of Onagars, with the, <laughs> the Onagar with the Icarus array just on top of that building there, just waiting for that Hell Turkey to come in. Just round the front, we've got a line of two squads of vanguards just getting ready to scout move and then hopefully move on to that objective which are just flanked by the dragoons just going to move up and literally just charge straight at them inside there we've got another unit of rangers this one happens to be my warlord in there with vanguard just at the side there and then lastly the Iron Striders in the building, just gonna hopefully move up the flank. Now, I do get to do a scout move with this entire formation, which I will probably utilize, mainly because I need to get into the middle of that field as soon as possible. But um, I'll get on with that in just a sec. 
we have here the Chaos Counter Deployment. I've sort of gone for cowards, even though I know that a lot of things won't be in range, but there's, ten, there's three strength ten shots my way, which I don't like. I've put my Forge Fiends, my Demon Prince and my Blisterator all up in this building. The Demon Prince getting a two up cover save is lovely due to Shouted and being in runes. We have Cultist down here, hopefully going to play for the Relic, but uh, just Foot Slogan's not really going to help there. We have our Land Raid over here, as far away from anything that can hurt it, and hopefully we can take a flank and not lose it this time, because there's no Knight to annihilate me. And uh, we've got one Obliterator, he's hiding down here, he's going to be doing Obliterator things, and we have one other Obliterator hiding up in this building here. If you can see him. So with all that said, uh, we are just going to roll our last couple of things. So I believe we've got night fighting to roll for, which I'll just do very quickly here. So that'll be night fighting. I sort of wish I kept that for uh, the next yeah, roll. That's going to help me. Uh, so I kind of wish I kept it for seize the initiative. <laughs> so I will attempt to seize the initiative. Uh, that's oh a man. So, uh, as we move on to Skitari, turn one. Now that Ross has obviously finished his deployment of his Chaos, um, I get to scout move pretty much my entire force um, because of the Skitari mana pull. So I've kind of just moved everything around just a little bit, just rejigged it a little bit. Um, and obviously I'll get to move in my actual movement phase, so it does look like it is a bit crammed at the moment, but there is a, a method in the madness here, just as I, I rejig them round just to get them ready to start really shooting. But um, yeah, let's just carry on and we can get on with Skitari turn one. Oh, just um, to highlight as well, my Warlord trait, uh, just rolled for that, that is the Incense Genitorum, so my Warlord, which is just hidden down here, has shrouded, which obviously will stack with night fighting stealth, which we've also rolled for, and we have night fighting on. Um, so that's a, an amazing cover save right there for that little dude. But yeah, let's crack on and we can get straight into the movement phase. That's movement done for Skitari. So on the far side there, we've got the Iron Striders. They have just moved out of that cover just a wee bit round, just so I can start pinging off wounds somewhere around that area. I've moved the Dragoons forward. Now they're not going to get any charges off obviously, but I just left them just out of range of Rossi's Land Raiders, which is going to be filled with those Berserkers and Karn, so I don't want him to be able to get me turn one, so that's fine. Moved some Vanguard within the building there, right squirreled away, and just giving them a bit extra cover. Right next to them, to the left, you've got a second Vanguard unit just trying to move forward to that objective there as well. So straight behind my Warlord, hasn't really moved, he's just sort of stuck in place, quite happy with all that cover and shrouded in stealth from night fighting, so he's nice and safe and sound. In front of them, got a big battery of Onagers looking to just plow as many shots into his either his demon or his obliterator, just something around that area. Uh, behind we've got the Onagar with the Icarus array right behind them. Just He's not going to move, he's just waiting for Ross's Hell Turkey really to, to show up. Within this building here, you can't really see them because they're right through this door. That's my third unit of vanguards just moved in there, just really trying to surround the objective. Um, and then last but not least, last unit of rangers. I haven't really moved them for, uh, with the exception of obviously the redeployment. Um, but yeah, that is it for the Skitari guys. Just um, just gonna try and shoot away. He's, he's t definitely taking a more cowardly tactic. He's hiding a lot. But um, we will see <laughs> We will see what happens in a uh, Skitari turn one shooting. Let's begin Skitari turn one shooting. Just to let you know guys, I am using the Doctrina Imperatives obviously with Skitari and I am using Binharic Omniscience, which is um, it adds three to my ballistic skill and minus two to my weapon skill. But providing I can't really charge much, that's not really a big issue. You want to use this one first normally. 
Uh, so anyway, it's going to be the Iron Striders going to fire their twin link auto cannons right in the face of that obliterator. Whoa. Just see what can happen. So we're going to be looking at twos here. So it's going to be six shots. Twos, they all go off and then it's going to be twos to win them. So yeah, so it's got four to make so he just needs <laughs> twos again. Yeah, well twos to save. And yeah, and he's ooh. well and truly saved. Moving on to my honor guards. Front and center, there's a big battery of them. I am gonna shoot them all at his Chaos Demon with the uh, the Neutron lasers. Now, mm. if I do manage to get one of these, it will be an instant death for that fella. Because uh, it's strength 10 against toughness five. So let's just see how it goes. So I'm gonna plant the first one right there. I'm just gonna do all of these together. So that one right there. Yep. So that's Ballistic skill seven, so it's only gonna move one inch, but that will still, even if I moved it there, that's about an inch, we'll still get him. Cool. Next one up. Oh, that will, Ooh. oh, direct hit Direct though. hit, you're yeah, absolutely so. fine. And then last one, direct hit. So that is three direct hits with that neutron laser. So I'm just gonna roll these right now for you, Ross. So it's gonna need twos here. All Whoa, three no. that was very close, but all three of them got through, so I just need you to roll one, one. And he's, and gone. he's dead. That is first blood, and that's your warlord, is it not? Oh no, Karn's your warlord. But still, that is first blood, and I am so thankful he is gone. Moving on from that whooping, we are gonna be shooting. I'm just gonna roll these two units at the same time, both my ranger units. I uh, can see this obliterator up here. I just want to throw a couple of dice at him. So I'm going to fire the two arquebuses in one and the two arquebuses in the next one. So I'm going to roll four dice. I'm just going to try and plant them all on him. So it's going to be twos, which he gets. And they are snipers, so it's going to be fours. Oh my God, have you ever seen so many ones? Wow. I really uh, wish that was kind of last time. I uh, know. <laughs> uh, well, that is that done. In all fairness, I think I've only got one more shot to make. Next up, I've actually got two shots now. Think about it. I didn't see this guy hidden in here. His gun actually is in range of this obliterator, and it is the caliber that's going to be firing. So that's going to be three shots. So it's going to be um, twos here. Made that quite comfortably. Then it is going to be twos again. Twos again. Twos again for this. Yeah. Oh, so it's only two, but it is AP two, so he's only going to get that uh, cover mm. save. Three up. Three up. Ah, oh, makes it like a pro. Yeah, Dean Prince wishes he could do the same. <laughs> and finally, for the Skitari shooting, I've got my um, Onagar that's sitting on top of the building, patiently waiting for the the Heldrake. It's gonna fire straight into the obliterator. Um, he is sky fire, it's only gonna be snapshots against this, but it's shots that I might as well take. So the first one of the array is gonna be the, um, I don't even know if I can pronounce this, the D-Dallas uh, missile launcher. It's heavy one, sky fire, but strength seven. So I'm gonna need a six here. Nope, so that one's out of the way. The next one is the Gatling rocket launcher. So this is a heavy fire. Oh, I've got Ooh. three shots there. I'm quite happy with that one. Um, and then I'm going to need twos here. What shots it? Six. Uh, you need threes, but that will, that will do, do it. <laughs> oh, so, are you not four? Nah, to the mark and go. Ah. Toughest five. And down one wind. Down one. So that's not too bad. And then last but not least, um, this is a heavy. Let's see, I've got two shots here. One goes through. Um, oh, that is twin linked, however. Sorry. So I get that. Try that one again. Nope. And then this one is strength seven. Ah! <laughs> not one. So I get one wound. I will take that. It's not too bad for a Skyfire weapon at the very least. So that is, that's actually it guys for the uh, the Skitari turn one shooting. Well, didn't kill an awful lot, a lot hidden away, but the demon was enough, I feel. Yeah, that's about 250 points gone. Boom, done. Yep. That's the end of the Skitari shooting, and I'm, I'm fairly comfortable with it. I didn't get a lot, just one wound off the obliterator, and that 
first blood demon. I know that really hurt Ross. There are tears behind the camera right now, I can assure you. <laughs> um, in regards, I've got the unit here. I've obviously done the wee run. I do have Crusader on these guys as well because of this Katari mana pole. So just use that extra run to get in contact with the relic. So next turn, I will be able to run away with it, hopefully. Uh, Onagers, they've done great. You know what everything's shot at. The one thing I will say is I made a little bit of a tactical error, but luckily um, I was able to correct it. I moved the Onagers right forward, as you as you remember. However, they're not Onagers. Not the Onagers. Sorry, my apologies. The uh, the Dragoons. I moved them forward, not realizing um, the full range of which Ross could have deployed those uh, <laughs> those blood bloodthirsty um, berserkers in there so yeah I used the crusader roll to run them back a bit just out of range because that could have been absolutely awful for me so yeah it's brilliant that these guys have that extra little bit of help to really <laughs> help correct mistakes after but yeah that is it for the Skatari guys I am I'm feeling pretty strong at the moment I'm feeling pretty confident so uh, let's just bash on and see what Ross can pull out the hat now We are now in the chaos, turn one, and after what can only be described as a painful turn one shooting, we lost a, basically almost a 250 point auto that was going to counter any movement, so now we need to think of a way to get around this. Still got some obliterators, still got my forge fiend, still got Karn who unfortunately well has decided to retreat from. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near that. These these guys can move pretty fast, so. Yeah. So I'm gonna move forward, hope for the best, and see where we end up. So finish the movement for the chaos. Uh, really, just trying to power forward now. I cannot afford for Will to start running away with the objective. Just right here. Not fathomable. So cultists move forward, the obliterator jumped forwards, probably risking getting killed, but a lot of things are a bit risking getting killed. <laughs> <laughs> Land Raider t uh, went forward at full speed, you really need to start getting into their back line, I will probably turbo boost them or boost them to hopefully get even further. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to our shooting phase, hopefully free up the objective for at least a turn, and uh, see where we go from there. To hopefully move the guys off the relic, I'm going to fire the assault cannon from the obliterator. That's going to be four shots, threes to hit, and twos to crunch. Yeah. Uh, you will get a six up night fighting. I will indeed. Cool. So, kind of need loads of these to hit, at least three of them. So, three of them three hit. Of them and then I need twos to wound. Oh, so he's only got two. Only got two. So and you get your six yeah. up saves. So six up save. Won't get a feel of pain from this, however. So not two guys are down. However, it's the two closest. So one, two. But off camera, we did discuss that the guy farthest away was the one holding the relic. Which is the natural choice. Which is the natural choice. Yep. So still got the relic for the next again turn, but that is two guys down. Obliterator number two, gonna fire a whole bunch of shots, hopefully kill that ranger who is with his relic. Cool. Yep. <laughs> yeah, cool, let's do this. So again, another four shots, three hit. So again, three hits. And two's to kill, but you will get a four up save this time. Sure will. So that'll be Three wounds. Three wounds. So if you get three fours here, I will not be impressed. Oh, so no, he does go down very, very close. Just uh, a, a slight heads up, it isn't a ranger squad. I just had to use one ranger model for that squad because I ran out of vanguard. So it's a vanguard unit. But yeah, but as Ross shifted me off the objective, I will need to try again next turn to secure it. Now that we have the relic free for a turn from moving, which is a great success, 
We're going to fire the two Hades Auto Cannons and the Ectoplasma Cannon from this Forge Fiend straight onto the Onagers. Hopefully, get revenge on at least one of them. Yep. I am going to activate Demon Forge, so what that allows me to do is reroll armor penetrations, which would be really cool. Yep. Hopefully, not uh, missing a whole bunch of these. So, awesome. let's, uh, let's roll these. I need force to hit. Wow. Wow. Wow, that was a really good roll. Well that done. That was awesome. That's exactly Seven right. hits. And uh, that's the exact opposite of what happened last time. I had to make the forge in a game. And uh, I am needing fours to glance and five, six to pin. Yep, that's right. And uh, I get to re-roll these. You sure do. That sounds a lot of fun. It does. We'll see what happens. I know you do get four up save. But I do, but oh. we'll see what happens. Right, so we have... One glance. And three pens. Three pens. And then I get to reroll these. Mm -hmm. To give me another glance and another pen. That's a great result. So yeah, I should probably so, roll these in sets of threes because obviously as soon well, as Well, no, the two glances yep. and then the pens. Oh yeah, of course I thought it was all pens there. So we'll do the glances first. So four up. Four up with these guys. Oh no, so he's down two wounds. Yeah. It's only one. And then uh, I will just do one out of ten because he's only got the one wound left on that. Hey. So, yep, he's got... Oh, no, that's made, sorry. That's made. Don't know what I was looking at there. That has failed. So that's so, one that's been crippled. Yep. Try the next, in fact, next two. Yeah. So, made and failed. So, one on a is definitely gone. And then the next one, I will consult with the vehicle damage table. One. Be a one, but that does mean that you cannot fire. That will be crew shaken, so yeah. you can't fire your your yeah. ten weapon. Yeah, but that. I can on the other one. So that's no, but I saved a uh, demon prince if that. Might have saved it, but yeah, <laughs> one down and uh, wound off the next, so it's not too bad there. Yeah, I'll take that. We also realised that the forge fiend also has an ectoplasma cannon. Mm -hmm. He's going to be firing his template onto the Onagers. Now we realise that these ones are actually more exposed than the previous ones, so they are actually a 3 plus save, 25% covered, and as well as knife fighting. Knife fighting. Yeah. So, first thing we're going to do is find out if it gets hot. Yep. Which it does not. It does not, no. We're going to find out if it scatters. Please scatter. Which it does not. No, no, direct hit. And I will need a forge glance, five six pin. Okay. I can re-roll this. One. I can <laughs> you re re-roll this. <laughs> oh Ross! Ouch! That really hurt. Yeah, so not this time. This will be the last unit to actually fire for the chaos. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple of run moves after this, but hopefully this will cause a wee bit of damage. Our obliterator standing oh, in the top corner, yeah. yeah, yeah, on the top. He's gonna fire straight at these Skatari. Hope the vanguard uh, go down. I'm gonna use a plasma cannon. We have seen uh, if I can actually how many I'd get. I'd get four. But the first mm -hmm. thing will it get hot. It will not. No. And then we'll see if it scatters, which it does. Now we'll measure how far that goes and see if we get any of them. Unfortunately, our obliterator missed quite a wee bit, and unfortunately, we did not get any of the vanguard. So, with that being the end of our phase, I'm just going to do some quick run moves for the cultists, five inches, and then I will turbo boost the land raider forwards. On reflection of this turn, I'm actually not too disappointed. Taking away one strength ten weapon and making another one not fire is a really good advantage. I still need to find a way to get Karn as close as possible to start threatening some guys. If again they're back line and stop them being able to move forwards, uh, sorry, backwards with the relic, that would be really handy. But as we are finished, we will move on to the Skitari. Turn two. Bashing on to Skitari turn two. Um, Ross, actually, I thought I was in a really strong position, but he has uh, he has got me in a bit of a pickle. I do need to test a quick leadership for those guys, just because he has 
rinsed half the squad. So I'm just gonna roll this right in front of you here, Ross. So I do need a nine. Yeah, mate. Yeah, so you're super fine. So that is fine, but it's only three man squad there. This is essentially a nice killing field for Ross, as we've just discussed off camera. So I am, I'm actually in a bit of trouble. <laughs> so with them, um, I, I genuinely don't know what I'm gonna do, guys, now that I think about it. I'm just gonna try and pump as many shots into him as possible. Uh, I don't want Karn to disembark and kill me, so I might have to run away. We will see. Um, but what we'll do is we'll just bash on with Skitari movements and um, let's just see see what I come up with. That's us on to the Skitari end of the movements. However, before we start Skitari shooting, which is uh, I'm sure it's going to be quite interesting, I need to make a Demon Forge check, which I forgot to do at the end of the last turn. Uh, basically, need anything bar one. So we're all good. Uh, that is three, and I will not be suffering any hull points on the Forge Fiends. That's the Skitari movement done, and yeah, to be honest, I've, I was thinking about running away from Karn and uh, that land raider. But if, I, if we just go over to the side here, you'll see exactly what I've decided to do. It's a bit of a gambit, but you know, sometimes that's what this game's all about. So my, my main idea is I really want to pop open that land raider and just drown him in walkers. Uh, obviously the berserkers, I believe they've got furious charge, so they could just literally with all those attacks glance all my walkers to death. So I want to deny them that. So I'm just going to pump everything I have at that thing and then um, get those guys out of there. Um, in regards to the guys inside the building here, just moved them forward and through the building. Um, just going to start blasting out of the cultist or maybe the obliterator, we'll see what happens. And then right in the middle, back onto that objective, which um, is represented by this lovely little model. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and capture that again. They are in range of his Forge Fiend and his Obliterator. If I want to take a few pot shots at one of them. I'm not sure if I can actually damage the Forge Fiend, but definitely the Obliterator. Guys in this building have moved forward up to the windows. And again, that's another two Plasma Calibers finding their way out the windows there to pop some more shots into that building all over the road. And then finally on this side, the Rangers have moved up into this building here just to reposition and get a few more shots again towards the Forge Fiend. Um, in regards actually, sorry guys, the Onagers, I have moved those as well. I've moved them back. This is actually going to offer a little bit extra support in shooting up that uh, that Land Raider and alongside my Warlord and his um, Armour Bean sniper rifles there. So. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of shooting. It could all be wasted on this target, but it is high priority in my opinion. So, yeah, let's just crack on with Skitari shooting and see how it gets on. Let's begin the Skitari shooting. We're going to start with the Rangers who are going to shoot into the Forge Fiend with their uh, Arquebus sniper armor vein rifles. <laughs> Just to let you know, um, I am running again the Doctrina Imperatives, I'm running the Gundrill Symbiosis, which adds uh, two to my ballistic skill and minus one from my weapon skill. Um, so let's just uh, fire these just now. So I'm gonna need twos here, both there. Mm. And again, these are armor banes. So the first one. You'll be needing eight. I think so, yeah. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope, only a six there. No, oh, so no. nothing there, nothing there at all. Next up we've got the Skitari Vanguard hidden away in here with the Plasma cal Calibers. Uh, it's going to be six shots. Assault three. By so. another obliterator. And they sure are, us. they sure are. It's got one wound so it should be getting rid of this guy. So twos. Rerollable, that one there. So I need a six on this one. No, oh, that's get hot. Euro one double This quick. is true, yeah. So roll an armor save. So four. He's that made it. Fine. And uh, let's see, we are gonna be looking at twos. Two spoons. And that's all of them, oh. so it's gonna be four ups here, so that's five four up saves. I need to make every single one sure of them. Do. Uh, and no, that's he him is. gone. So that's another obliterator destroyed. First obliterator. 
Oh, is that the first one? Oh, so it is. <laughs> yep, the first one. Dang, getting ahead of myself. Moving on to the Vanguard, snuggled away inside the building in front of the cultists. I'm going to fire everything they have got into the cultists. So I've got, what, four guys in there with assault three weapons, so just just fire these. Gonna go to ground, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> don't gonna blame. take at least a six off saving. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you at all. So it's gonna be twos here. Uh, let's see, so I've got re-rollables there. So I get these out of the way. I need sixes on these fellas, not happening. And then it's gonna be fours here. But any sixes, add on another one. Yep. So that is an extra two. Two wins. Uh, and that's not too bad for you, Ross. So that's two, four, six, eight wins we're going to be looking at. Cool. So I'll give you those there just so now. So I wouldn't mind making a few of these. Yeah. That'd be lovely. Uh, oh. And not a one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, that's, uh, what is that, a 10 man squad? 10 man yeah. squads. So, eight of them are gone. Okay, so we've got my calibers here. So let's say uh, just twos here. Yeah. Oh, well, All of them made. I'm only needing twos here. There, yeah, that's the squad gone. Right? Well, if I, if I make four sixes, <laughs> no, I need to make three sixes to keep one guy. Oh, oh my what? god! I did it! No! <laughs> that was... Oh my word, Ross! Impossible. Wow, so that's. Wow. Two, two cultists have survived. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty miffed that that didn't, <laughs> that two cultists survived. So what I'm gonna do is I've got one onager back here with his um, Skyfire Icarus array. I'm gonna pump all the shots at those guys. I want them off the board. It's a bit of an insult that they're still here, to be honest. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna roll the first two. These are the twin linked shots. I'm only gonna need twos, twos to hit, twos to wound on pretty much all the shots, but um, this is gonna be the twin linked ones. Twin light, so I need sixes here. Snap fire, remember guys? So that's not happening. And let's try this one. So I've got two I've gone through. Ooh. So twos to wounds. And I just need twos to wounds here. Twos to wounds, right, See okay you again, Ross. Double six. Oh no, they're gone. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> nice try guys. We all loved it. Moving on from that uh, ton of spiteful shots from the honor guard that to was the cultists. Pure spite. That was pure spite. Um, I've got this unit of Vanguard in the center here. They are going to pump their remaining, well, their only shots really, into that uh, obliterator there. So we'll start with the uh, calibers first. I'm just going to roll these right in front of you, Ross. So I'm going to need twos here. That would have been two. Uh, Two explosions in my face. However, I do get to re-roll those because yep. so of you need sixes. the doctrine. Yep. So I need sixes. So Ooh. yeah, I get one there. Yep. So I had one six. I'm going to need twos from these guys as well. So yeah, all of them. All of them. So it's just your invul. Just loss. my invul. So it's only five up. So I really need that quadruple six you now. Really do. <laughs> so uh, no. No, that's him gone now as well. Moving on to the main event, um, got all of this essentially going to be pumping whatever they can into that Land Raider and dig Karn out of there. So we're going to start with the Honor Guard. Now remember guys, this one's um, only snap firing and he's got blast weapon, so it is only one shot from the Honor Guard. I totally forgot, a bit of a tactical error, but uh, let's just see what happens. So I'm going to pop this center stage right there. All right, and, uh, give me a big scatter. A direct hit. So that's three inches. Three inches, still gonna clip the line yeah, reader. Yeah, still gonna clip it because it was center stage. Yeah, right on front there, guys. Cool. So you need a four to glance, five, six to pen. Yeah, so five or six. Oh no! <laughs> no! Ooh. Ouch! Oh, this is gonna prove to be very difficult now. I think Karn might be jumping out for fun. Uh -huh. Next up we've got the Rangers with their sniper rifles into that. It's, it's going to be a tough one, they have got armour bane, but I was really banking on that Onager to, to dig out Karn there, or at least take it down a wee bit, but let's see what happens. So I'm going to need twos from this, to just get it. Both it. 
And uh, the first one. You need 10. 10. Yep, 10. Jeez, oh. Let's see what happens. Nope. nope. And then the second one. Nope. Yeah, so nope. nothing there either. Last in the shooting phase for the Skitsari, we have got the Iron Striders. They are going to pop a ton of shots just up into the Forge Fiends, just to try and just strip as many hull points from them as possible. So let's just uh, have a wee look at what happens. So these are twin linked, but obviously I've got uh, Ballistic Skill 5. 6, so you're Six. Twos, yeah. And yeah. Twos, twos and 2s, two, so 2 up reroll, nice. Yeah, not too bad. So, not that I needed it. No, so, I needed it. Yeah, not too bad. And going to be fives, then sixes to glance. So that is one glance, one penetrating hit. Cool. So we'll take away the glance. So the glance, I will try and save in a five up. Yeah. Nope, so the glance goes one. through. And the pen is saved. So he is down one hull point. Not too bad for you. That was it for the uh, the Skitari shooting phase. We are just going to dive straight into the, the assault phase. I have only got these Iron Strider, and uh, not Iron Strider, sorry, the Dragoons. So they are going to just charge that thing like crazy. It's a bit of a formality this roll because they get to add three to their charge because of the June Strider rule. So I'm just going to have a wee roll. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they didn't. Even if they didn't, well done. Well done. Yeah. Uh, so what we'll do is I'm just I'm gonna quickly get them all moved in and then um, just get the dice prepped and ready and just get this thing hopefully destroyed. Right, that's them moved in. This is all or nothing time really for the Skitari. So let's just uh, fire away. There's four tacks a piece here. So let's uh, let's just see how it gets on. I'm gonna need threes here. That's not too bad. That was only three misses. And one was a six, which actually multiplies into two additional hits because uh, of the taser rule. So that's not so bad. So how many hits that total? That is two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Ooh. So it's eleven hits, and I need I'm, to get four sixes. I need to get four sixes here. Oh, let's see how it goes. So only one. No. <laughs> oh, this is a dark day. Yeah, that's down uh, one whole point. That's the end of it all guys. That's movement, shooting, and uh, very lackluster assault. I have, it was a massive gambit. I, I should have stuck to the original plan and just run away and just pinged off wounds here and there. However, fortune favors the bold. Unfortunately, it turned around and gave me a quick kick in the tadger, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's uh, I'm gonna get charged by Karn and his uh, his demon brood of berserkers. It's gonna be horrible. I'm in serious danger of when that hell turkey comes on to just getting tabled now, I feel. So, do you know what? I'm just gonna hand it right over to Ross because he is, I know he's super excited to deal some damage here. So let's just get on with it, guys. Alrighty, so after a pretty poor phase for the Skitari, I might be able to pull off some damage, which would be amazing. Yeah. So let's find out. Uh, I've first got a roll for reserve, see if mm -hmm. my Hildrick might come in. I'm not 100% worried if it doesn't, because Karn's really gonna kick up a notch this turn, but if it does, it'd be beautiful. So three plus. Oh, it is no. Well, um, then, also do, it will not die on the Forge Fiend. See, on a 5+, plus, he gets his hull point back. And he he'll does. be getting oh his hull point back as well. So I'm gonna do some movement, have some fun, see what's going on. I hate you so much, Ross. I, I can <laughs> so, yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. Well, we have now deployed our Chaos Space Marines quite aggressively. We're, uh, we're going for this. It's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Barnes came out to play, he has left the unit and he wants to take on these jousters himself. Yeah. So he's staring them down, coming at them. We also have the Berserkers jumping out as well. They wanna go for the Iron Striders. 
So a lot of damage coming on here, uh, and Land Raider is also poised to shoot at least one or two shots at the Onagers. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We've also got the Heldrake coming in. It is going to start flaming. Oh, it doesn't have flamers, the Hades also can. Either way, that is 84, but we'll have a lot of fun with that one. So he's going to come in, hit you from there. We've also got our Forge Fiend back up to full. Yes, that was annoying. We've also got an Obliterator up there as well. Just in that house there, guys. So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. So, let's move on to the shooting phase. I'm going to start off the Chaos shooting phase with the Heldrake. Now, I did keep it at the Auto Cannon. Totally regret it now. Yep, yeah, that, that bale flame or whatever it is called, it would have literally destroyed me, Ross. It would have been horrible. But yeah. the Hades oh, kind of still well, strong. Also still strong. Uh, so he's gonna cheat. look at his target, it's gonna be the guys holding the objective. So that could do it. Yeah, fair choice. Uh, I will activate my Demon Forge, so don't let me forget. I, I will to, not uh, let uh, you uh, forget that. For a whole point. So it's four shots, I yep. need three to hit, and I get to two to kill, but I get to reroll it. So I will go to ground on this. You cheeky devil. Yep, yeah. I need to hide. <laughs> cool, so four to hit. Only one hit. But I'll take your go to ground result. I'll take it anyway. Cheers! I get the feeling you'll shoot more at me, so yeah. Do you get a six up cover? Six up. Not Five, no. I get the feeling you'll have a lot more to throw at me. Moving on to our stray obliterator hanging up in this building. Yeah, there He's going to make a one long shot at the June crawlers. So I'm it's assuming it's the two man squad, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's going to be the last cannon. Ouch. Yeah, so it's sort of a stray shot because uh, I've got a lot more coming their way. I know. Three's to hit. It's a hit. Yeah. And then it'll be three's to glance. Yeah, that's true. Four, yeah, five, yeah. six to pen. Uh, that'll be a glance. So a glance, yeah. So you get bad. a five up in both safe. Yeah, that's true. So let's try it. No, nope, nothing at all. So that's one shot off it there, so that one's down to two. Forge Fiend is next up. He is going to have a great result with the last time. Fire a lot of shots at the Dune Crawlers with the... What are the cannons called? Uh, the Neutron Lasers. Lovely. So again, I need fours to hit you. Mm -hmm. Last time we got seven, it was super cool. And Let's then, not repeat that, please. Yeah. Well, still not bad, 50%. Technically enough. Yeah. And uh, your side arm, I'll need force glance, 5, 6, 10. Don't get to reroll these though. So that'll be one glance and one pen. Okay, so let's get rid of the glance first. So I need a 5 here. No, nope, so that's down, and technically, if I don't save this, regardless, it's gone. Nope, so that is one Onagar gone. Last man standing. Ouch. He's picking me apart now. Land Raider next. He is going to throw some shots at the Onagar. Last remaining one. Ouch. One shot, because I did have to move him slightly. One shot is going to be at full ballistic skill. The other one is going to be uh, snap bang. But they are twilight. So we'll do the full one first. It hits. Snap firing. Would have missed either way, but it is twin light. Oh wow, no, so not, even close. Not, not even close, that was the one. Yep, so we are looking for threes. So that's nine, yeah, so, so it's gonna be a three. And that's not gonna get you. Oh well, small mercies for this guitar. <laughs> it's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better, however. Cool, so uh, with that, I believe we, that is the end of my shooting phase, and uh, I think we'll mo most likely be moving on to so. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. No, that's going to be harsh. So, with the Chaos Assault phase now, uh, I've got a bunch of Berserkers coming at you. Yeah, it's going to be horrible, bud. So let's do uh, Karn first. Mm -hmm. We'll roll 2d6, see if he's in. <laughs> yep. Truly in. <laughs> and then we'll do these guys here as well. 2d6. And they're in. Yeah. So, what I'll do is I'll move them in and uh, we'll then start hurting you bad. Ouch. Karn is going first in this assault phase, as he should. Uh, he gets 7 attack yep. at this time. Uh, he needs 2s to hit, re-rolling because he has hatred, and no one on his own team is going to smack back, which is pretty cool. 
I actually don't want him to kill all these guys because otherwise I might take a strength 10 shot to the face. But we'll see what Karn has in mind himself. So, twos to hit. Rerolling. Oh well, we missed one. Hooray! Now each of these are armor bane, so on the charge I believe he is strength 7. But uh, what I'll do is I'll need to prepare these each to get their armor bane rolls. We have 6 hits, which is cool. He's got armor bane and he's strength 7 from Furious Charge and he's Gore Child. So I need 4s on 2d6 to glance you. I actually don't want to pass all of these. Yes, I want you to. That's one pen. <laughs> so that's one. Uh, that's a glance. A glance. If I pass all these, you're gone. Yeah. Uh, that's a pen. <laughs> oh no. Uh, that's a pen. That's a, a pen. pen. <laughs> He laughs through t and tears. That's a pen. So they're gone. They are gone. They are gone. However, I do need to see if you explode and possibly hurt me in the process. Yeah, let us uh, let me just gather my thoughts and, uh, I don't know, lift my heart out of my, <laughs> out of my trousers and just, ah, that was sore. Well, all I've got to do is roll these these five dice. Any sixes, at least one of them explodes. Yeah, let's just do away. it, Ross. You're killing me, man. You're killing uh, me. No, they don't explode. Open topped, we've just remembered, we've got one explosion. Oh yeah. Whoa. So one explosion, it'll be the guy closest to him, which is the guy charged. Yeah. So the only person you can hurt is Karn, so yeah. D6 way, you're gonna hit Karn. Do you wanna see if you wound him? Do you know what, actually Ross, you've been rolling so well. Like this turn, could you roll it please? <laughs> Four plus to wound him, he's wounded. <laughs> Three plus, uh, and he's fine. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, well. So, take them away. <laughs> We now have the Corn Berserkers turn, and they'll be striking at the Iron Striders. Uh, we're getting a total of 37 attacks, which is kind of cool. And we are needing threes to hit, and then sixes to glance. So let's see how many hits we can get. Uh, the answer is a few. Oh, that, that's too many. <laughs> that's too many so far. Far too many. 37, 3, 6, 9, 10 missed. So that means 27 have gone through. I'm just going to need. I just need 6. A ton of sixes here. Yeah. So now, statistically, six, I shouldn't get this. 6 sixes. 6 sixes. Shouldn't get this. But it'd be funny if I did. I kind of don't want to because you might turn your lips and laser on them. Uh, and that's not enough. Although there's a few. 2. Four. Oh no, it is enough. Uh, five. Oh no, it's not. Would you say that's cocked? I'll give you it. Put me out of misery. I really don't want to. I'd rather be kept in combat. Uh oh. And <laughs> that is it done. That is it done. That is them out. And my generosity has literally just killed me. <laughs> wow. Uh, Ouch. <laughs> Hey, I remember that game, you, I lost this flank. <laughs> yeah, that's been horrible. Utterly, utterly horrible. That is now an end for the Chaos turn two. Uh, brutal. A lot of fun. Gonna do some damage. Killed the Dune Crawler, killed all your crazy walker, yep. your you jamsters. Def definitely yeah. had fun with it, bud. Yeah, so I think, however, that has brought Karn and his guys out, and I think you want some revenge. I, I surely do. I really, really need it. You really need it? Well, here we go as we move into Skitari, turn three. That's me all moved. When I say moved, I've, I've kind of ran away. <laughs> <laughs> so the rangers here have moved back away from Karn. I am out of uh, charge range now. Cool. <laughs> Onagar has moved a little bit around here just to get that extra cover if that, whatever it is, Forge Fiend tries to shoot me again. Because <laughs> I've only got two wins on that fella. Uh, the one that's got the Icarus array has come down. Um, I'm trying to look for that hell turkey 
but it's obviously out of line of sight at the moment but you can't stay that way forever so in the middle I said before guys they are stuck where they are they went to ground turn before so they are literally just getting back on their feet now within the building here there is a bit of a conga line lining up in the door frame to shoot Karn right in the back. That's an execution force. That is, yeah, literally just lining up to take him out. He needs to get gone. Uh, the next one over, again, I've got the, the usual unit that's just sitting in there. They've moved around a little bit just to give them a few options, either to try and take off a few wounds off the Forge Fiend or go for the Obliterator in the tower on the end. And lastly, the Rangers there have moved just out of their little building just to get them into line of sight of that obliterator and just move him because he's he's just been pinging me every now and again and it's annoying so <laughs> <laughs> I want him gone. So that is it. Uh, Ross does have to re-roll or roll sorry. Um, what was it for? The Demon, Demon Forge? Demon Forge? Yeah. Oh, you had to remember. I do, yeah, so get going. <laughs> yeah, well, a one, and I've, I've suffer, uh, suffer a hit, and that's not a one. Yeah, no. Nah. So, yeah, let's crack on, guys. Getting right into the Skitari shooting phase. We're in turn three, and what to choose? What to choose to shoot first at Karn? It is gonna be the Vanguard little kill team in the building there. Now, before I even get started on that, I'm using another uh, Doctrina Imperative. This is gonna be the Hazard Optimization. So that's the Gamma Trait, and I'll get plus one to my Ballistic skill this turn. No negative modifiers. So let's just fire them straight into Karn. So I've got the plasma calibers in there. So that is going to be six shots. So I've got two in there. So it's going to be twos to hit. No rerolls, but that is. That's a get hot. Yep. Get your armor safe. Ah, and nice we made it. Yep. And I'm just going to need twos here. Yep. And that is twos and all he needs. Ooh. He's only got the fives. Only got fives. So yep. I think you've got Karn here, but he's had fun. He has had one too much. Uh, and that's nice gone. gone. So that is Slay the Warlord as well. And um, I have to admit, I'm very happy that he's gone. Moving on from Car uh, Karn Slaughter there, actually. Yeah, I'm so happy that happened. And moving on to the Onagar. Right down into these guys. He's going to fire his neutron laser. P -p -p right there so it should be three if I can get it so let's try and not scatter so two inches scatter, not scatter one because he's got ballistic skill six so it would only be one inch actually only plus one two ballistic skills so your ballistic skill five. Oh, five, yeah totally true so what we'll do is I'll just get this quickly measured up it might just scatter off so yeah we'll be back in two seconds yeah, just quickly measured that up. I did scatter a little bit, but I actually scattered over and onto another marine, so it's still gonna be threes. So, yeah, twos to go away. Nice. Ah, only two go away. Only two go away. Only two. So that's not too bad, but I do have the stubbers as well. They are in range, pre-measured. So this is gonna be twos here. Oh, got my hand there. So that's one gone. And this is gonna be fours, fours on fours. Ooh. Yeah. One. <laughs> yeah. One. I'll take an armor save as well. Yeah, yeah you sure will. And we're okay. Saved. So, yeah, only two. Not, not what I wanted. I kind of wanted a few more, but still got a few more shots to ping at them. Next up, we've got the Rangers. So, we're going to fire the three. What's it, is it called galvanic rifles? Oh, that's their general rifles. Yeah, they're general rifles. Let's uh, let's fire those to begin. So it's going to be twos. They are in range, just. Uh, so twos, so that's one gone. And it's going to be fours to wound here. Oh, oh no. Nothing at all. But we do have the sniper rifles as well. So, so they are twos to hit, fours to wound. Yeah. Sixes are AP2. Yeah, so let's see what happens, twos. Oh, no. Yep. yep, and then give me a six. No, that's a four. That's a four, so that's wounds. Yeah, one wound. Give me a two. Uh, oh, oh, Ross, you gentleman! <laughs> well, you got one extra one. <laughs> that's still a lot of berserkers kicking about. It is. It's horrible. 
Moving on from the Rangers, we've got the next Onegar. This is the guy that's got Skyfire again, but uh, he's not got any anything in the sky to shoot at, so he's going to shoot the Forge Fiend and see, see what he can actually do here. So we're going to start with the, let's see, what should it be? The Gatling Rocket Launcher. How about that? So it's five shots. This is going to be strength six, so twos and sixes. Or sexes, sorry, than sexes, obviously, because I'm snap firing. So, no, they have failed. Next up, we've got the twin linked uh, strength 7 weapon. So, that's going to be the Icarus auto cannon. It's twin linked, as I said, but that is one hit. Nope. And I'll just need a 5 to glance, 6 to pen. 6, so that's Ooh, one that's pen. A pen. That is one pen. But I do get a 5 up save. Ooh, I did not make it. So we've got a pen there, and just for the sake of it, let's get this other one out of the way. So, gonna need a 6. Ah, oh, he's got a 6. Ooh, nice. Now this is strength 7, so I need a 5 or a 6 again. So, 5's to glance. And that's another pen. However, this is AP2, that one. Yeah, so I'll roll to see. Uh, and a 5 up. Oh, so he's made it, so it's just that one pen that he's got to deal with. Yep, so do you want to roll the result? Uh, yeah, let's have a quick look. Five. Five uh, is AP2? It's not, no. So, so I believe that is actually weapon destroyed. We will find out and just doubly check, but I will take that. A wound is a wound. Yeah, or a hull point is a hull point. Yeah, I would have much preferred to be AP2 and I get uh, mobilised. Yes, yes, would have preferred it. Yeah, we're bang on the money, so it is a weapon destroyed, and we're going to be looking at a one or a two, it'll be the arm on the left, three or a four, arm on the right, five or a six, uh, six right in the kisser, so <laughs> let's uh, let's just see what happens. Ah, so it's just one of the arms Ooh. on the right, so yeah, that'll be destroyed. Next up, we've got the Vanguard hunkered down in the building here, they've got the plasma calibers, so I'm going to throw all six of those shots into the Forge Fiend. Just really, I need to strip him of those last two. I cannot have him sitting there. So let's just try and get something going. So I'm gonna need twos here. Oh my God, that is two explodes. So I am gonna need- You've uh, not failed any armor uh, yet. You're so due a failure. Fours. So One. that's two. Is that both of them gone? And then six ups. So one has survived. Ooh. But uh, how many did you hit with? Four? I've hit with four. Cool, so we want to see, uh, what do you need? Fives to glance? Fives to glance, sixes to pen. And what's one penetrating hit? Ooh. Will you be able to stop it with that five up in ball? No. no. So, so six to make him go away. No, that's mm. three. So I'll be four, which is shaking. I will be snap firing. Yep, I could, I'll take that to be honest. And I'll take the extra hit point. So that's okay, that is fine by me. Quickly going back to the Forge Fiend, he's got demonic position, which means that on a two plus, he ignores the effects of crew shaking or crew stuns. Oh, oh. oh, I desperately needed that. Thank you, Ross. Ouch. <laughs> Last on the list for Skitari, we are looking at the Rangers. They're going to shoot this lone obliterator down here in this corner, just to let them know I haven't forgotten about them. <laughs> uh, he is not alone. So let's try the rifles first. They, one of them is in rapid fire range, so it's going to be four shots in total. So I'm going to need twos here, then fours. I believe it's... Yep, it? yep. sure do. And Perfect. anything, if you roll sixes, it's a P2. This, this isn't the sniper rifle, this is the oh, standard gun. So then yeah. it's all fine. Yeah, so let's see what happens. So all hit. Yeah, I could have actually used that one as mm. the, the wound, but never mind. Uh, give me the exact same roll again, please. Oh, oh, oh nearly, 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 nearly. So yeah, that'll be three two three, ups. Three two ups should hopefully survive this. Yeah. Oh, no, that's oh, one wound. That's one, that's that's one, one wound. Uh, then we've got the sniper rifle, so it's going to be twos to hit. Oh, no, this is in trouble now. Uh, then... Force to wounds. Force to wound, or give me a six. It's force to wounds. So, so I just need to roll a two. Mm-hmm. Do not roll a one. Ah, hey. so yep, he's surviving with that one wound there. 
that's the end of the Skitari shooting phase. As you know, I don't really do charges with Skitari, so, or at least I didn't get a chance to, thanks Ross slash Karn. Uh, but yeah, I've actually, I felt like I had a decent shooting phase, got that Forge Fiend right down to one wound. Ross will have to see if it will pass its will not die. Yep. Uh, but we can do that in a minute. Then we have got, let's see, got the Obliterator down a wound, got Karn off the board, a couple of Berserkers off. Uh, you know, that was, it was okay. I needed Karn off, I got Slay the Warlord. I'm two victory points to, to zero, and technically I've got the Relic, so I'm technically five to zero. I'm feeling okay, but my units are getting a bit thin, and he's still got that Hell Turkey flying around, and he's still got units that can really throw a ton back at me. So let's just, uh, let's just hand it over to Ross. So that's finished up the corn, well, say corn, the Chaos Space Main phase. We've re-embarked on the Land Raider. That has managed to give us a wee bit of access yep. and protection from those Plasma Calvers, which would have rinsed me. Uh, I've moved the Helldrake forward, it's still flying. Uh, we're still snap around him. I'm just gonna do a quick, it will not die. It will not die, he's so back up to one. two. Yeah, you did that. And we've also got Blurator and he's gonna be sitting pretty up there. Yeah, that guy doesn't need to move. He's got a line of sight of everything. He's having a good time. So what we'll do is we'll move on to the shooting phase quickly and see where we end up. So we've got the Land Raiders last scan shot firing straight at the Dream Crawler, needing three to it, twin linked. So it hits and we are needing Three's to glance, glance. Yeah. Do more than it's a pen. So it's only a glance. I will get my six up in vol. Uh, let's see what happens here. Oh, it went under the tank. Ah, two. So ah, well. Not too bad. Not too bad. That's another wound. Or hull point. <laughs> <laughs> Eldrake next, gonna fire his Hades Auto Cannon. Hopefully, gonna kill these two gentlemen on the ground. Yeah. So, we are needing force to hit. Really, just need to kill these two men. Uh, that's enough. That's uh, three hits. Needing twos to wounds. With only one. Only one. Oh. So, I wouldn't get any sort of save, really, but. Do you know what? I will go to ground. Yeah. Um, so that gives you a six up save? Yep, six up. Here we go. Nope. nope. So that is a guy dead and yep, down to one last guy in that squad. <laughs> and he is literally lying on his belly. Fortune next, gonna be firing his Hades Auto Cannon, the last remaining one. Yeah, I, th I feel we need to cover the fact that you failed that two up uh, for the crew shake. <laughs> yeah, so. So I will be snap firing. Mm -hmm. I need sixes to hit. Oh, one oh. off the table. So sixes, nothing. That would have been two hits otherwise, but uh, today it's nothing. I'll take it, and I need it. Last but not least, the obliterator is going to attempt some cheeky shots back with an assault cannon. Yep, down on uh, these guys. Sure is, so hopefully this will cause some hurt. Two's to hit, two's to kill. So put two hits, and two's to take away your arquebuses. Yeah. And, that and he's done it, yeah, that's my two special weapons in that squad gone. That will be a morale check. And I'll be a morale check, yep. Yeah. I'm going to be taking morale checks all over the place. <laughs> I'm going to quickly just roll the morale checks for the Rangers and the, the lonely vanguard there. So we'll start with the Rangers. I need a nine here or less than. Oh, so they are running. Um, see how far? Seven inches. So seven inches for those guys. And then the last guy with the relic, please don't run. Please run away. Oh. And he's fine. He is fine. I need him there. But yep, that's another unit tailing it. So that was a fairly lacklustre turn for the chaos, but we're really just trying to prepare ourselves for the, the main end game. 
We took hull point off the dune crawler, which is always good, and we've managed to make the unit with the relic go to ground again, which is very handy. Other than that, Corn Berserkers are protected, and they are the only guys who can claim the relic. Mm -hmm. So uh, I really need them to get over there shortly. But other than that, there's still a lot of infantry out for the Skitari, but as we move on to their turn four. Moving on with the Skitari turn, let's see, well I've got to try and get these guys up and running, or at least running back in the right direction. That would be helpful. Uh, so let's just do a quick morale check for them. They are back on. They are back so, in the fight. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly turn around. And uh, in regards to the rest of the turn, to be honest, I'm, a, I'm again struggling, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, I've still got guys in here, I want that Forge Fiend gone, he's not going to be snap, uh, snap firing in the next turn. I've gone to ground in the middle with one guy left, that unit's been taking an absolute beating. However, I've got my Icarus Array ready to shoot that, that Hell Turkey right there. Uh, the Neutron Laser has got to shoot into the, um, the Land Raider, I need to get that open and get those guys out of there so my Plasma Calibers, my Rangers can try and make short work of the, uh, the Marines inside but it's, it's touch and go, it could go either way at this stage but um, do you know what guys, let's again crack right on with Skitari shooting I actually decided I would move some guys, I was just going to hunker down, sit exactly where I was and plow on with the shooting phase, but did not decide to do that, I've moved a little bit. So I've moved my guys through the building here, just to try and get away from that land raider filled with crazies. Um, way back here I have got some, the rangers, I've just moved them back ever so slightly, again I'm just, I do not want to be anywhere near that land raider. Just going to try and see what I can do about getting rid of that. Middle, again you know I can't do anything with that, they are down on the ground again. The Icarus uh, Onager is just moved over, I've got clear line of sight of this fella, I am going to go to town. The Rangers in, uh, sorry the Vanguard in here, they've moved but they are literally just hugging the wall <laughs> for as much cover as possible. And as you know already, the Rangers have uh, regrouped and will fire a couple of snapshots, probably at the Obliterator. But that is it. Um, let's just crack on, guys. Getting right on with the Skitari turn four shooting now. We've got the Onagar. Let's just fire that neutron laser straight into the Land Raider. Before I do that, however, back to Doctrine Imperatives. I've run out of ballistic skill imperatives to use so I'm literally just going to throw out the mind state secator which is the it ups my weapon skill by one it doesn't do anything to my ballistic skill there's no negative modifiers but I think you know if I'm going to get charged by berserkers I'd rather have that extra, <laughs> extra weapon skill but um, yeah let's fire it so pow so you're going to scar the, f the full amount, you know, as you know, Bliss Skill 7, Bliss Skill 4. Yeah, Bliss Ooh. Skill 4, so here we go, right there. Let's see what happens, so please roll low. So... That's a 3, oh no, it's a direct hit. Oh, that's a direct hit, do you know what, I just looked at the numbers, <laughs> I didn't even look at it, that's perfect, that's exactly what I needed. So, oh. 4 to glance, 5, 6 to pen, you really need this 5 I or 6. I really do. Come on folks, let's get it done. Yes! That's a six, that's a pen. Right. Do you want me to, Ross? Or do you want do the honor, to have the honours? Thank honors. you well, very much. It's your armour penetration, yeah, so, so a five. It's a, a five, and if that's the case and the berserkers need to come out. Yeah, they do. So come on folks, let's get this done. Oh no! Five, that'll be weapon destroyed. Weapon destroyed. So what we'll see is left last cannon for one two, right one for three four, heavy bolter for five or six. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so that is the one on the other side. So the far last cannon has gone and that's another hull point. The rangers are going to have a shot, have a wee crack at the, uh, the land raider as well. Got my two arquebuses there, so let's see what happens. So it's gonna be normal ballistic skills, so it's threes. Both hit. We'll both hit. Got armor pens, so you do need tens. Yep. Let's see what happens. So that's a ten. That's a glance. So that's one glance. Ooh, and I'm then just... try again. 
And that's another 10, that oh. is it, gone! Thank you! That is the land we're going with Arquebuses? Well, with that, I, I just think your Calvers are going to come at me. I can't catch you. Let's call it there. Well, good game. That was moving up and down quite a lot in that game. That was. I will say right then and there, those Arquebuses games I've played, they have been next to useless. I might, I probably won't consider them again, but they've definitely, definitely helped me out. So I'll give them a gold star for that one. So well, how do you feel that went? I feel magnificent. Yeah. That was such a good match. I really Do you know what? It was absolutely brutal. I genuinely thought turn one after I got through that Demon Prince, it was in the bag. Yeah, but, I uh, well. I I was like, how am I gonna deal with your infantry? Yeah. I can't catch you. Even I, I think I got a bit too cocky. You know, I, I was like, well, let's throw a gamble, let's throw all those walkers down the way there and let's just get any space, but that really backfired quite bad. Yeah. Karn is a beast. Like, yeah, he really jumped is. out and uh, beast. the Berserkers as well, like, wiped out six walkers. Yeah, that was horrible. It was horrible. I was like crying on the other side of the camera there. <laughs> it was really horrible. But um, no, it was brutal. Even, I absolutely love Onigars. I think they're my favourite unit at the moment with this Skatari. Just that mm. neutron laser, just... So powerful, oh, so, so powerful. powerful. Killing that Demon Prince, uh, and he had a strength 4 AP3. Bottom flamer. Yeah, huge. I could have been flying about shooting that. Yeah, even taking it in that squad with that buffed up invul was just oh, incredible. Really so nice. yeah, the way it ended, guys. Overall, obviously, it was I believe five points to nil. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's no way I was going to be. Yeah, it was. That. It was game over after that. But no, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thought it was an absolute cracking game and a slog, a real grind. Yeah, we thought it was going to be a whitewash, but no, no, I absolutely would. loved it. Absolutely loved it. Cool, well, that's another battle report from us. Hope you enjoyed. As usual, if you've got any comments to leave, please leave them below. And uh, I suppose we'll see you next time.